What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to my channel and another video. So for a long time, many of you guys have been asking me to do a small account challenge. So here it is. I am going to be using the broker Webull to do a small account challenge. So you guys have probably seen me do a few videos about Webull. So now I figured why not use them to do a small account challenge with. Now before we jump into it, I do wanna say, so far what I don't really like about Webull is it doesn't show you kind of your portfolio overview similar to Robinhood where when you log into Robinhood, you will have you know the graph showing your daily gain or your weekly gain or your your yearly gain and so far from what I've come to find is Webull doesn't really offer that so that's kind of the the only thing I don't really like about them so far and if there's anything else I pick up as I'm using them I'll definitely share it with you guys so let's jump into it this is my $1,000 small account challenge so I started this account with $1,000 about a week ago we could say and right now it's currently up to $1,228 now I will say that probably about 50 to maybe $70 in this this account here has come from some of the referrals people have used using my uh, you know code to sign up with Webull so I won't grant all the success here so far just to my trading um, but uh, I would say about 50 to 70 dollars has come from some referral links where we've gotten some free stocks on this account so this isn't entirely gained from all me but in this video I'm going to walk you through some of the stocks I've bought in so far since opening the account and then I'm going to show you some stock charts and kind of walk you through where I bought them kind of why I bought them where I did all right so going into it this is the account I've started it with a thousand dollars it's up to about about $1,228 right now. Uh, in my portfolio, I have ABEV. So ABEV, again, is, is the free stock that I've been given for referring people to Webull. So Webull has given me these free shares, similar to what Robinhood did there for a while. So again, you're, right now, I have nine shares of ABEV. So they're worth a couple dollars a share. But again, so, so right there, you know, $38 of it, you know, has come from free referrals, right? So anyways, we have ABEV, we have Apple. So I right now I have five shares of Apple. Right now you can see I'm up $14 uh, a gain and I have, you know, 1.52% gain here. So I've only bought in five shares of Apple just over the past couple of days. They're starting to increase in price. Only bought five shares, right? So a lot of this account you're going to see isn't necessarily me buying penny stocks. I'll actually be buying large cap stocks and trading higher price stocks with a small account and you can see you can very easily grow an account by even buying higher price stocks so that's kind of one of those other false things you hear is you can't make money if you know you can't you can't grow an account or you can't make money trading a small account if you're trading large cap stocks or you can't make money trading higher price stocks if you don't have any money and and that's kind of false and that's what i'm also going to show throughout this account because as you can see it's up to you know, from 1,000 to 220 in about a week's time by only trading some some lower price to higher price stocks, not even necessarily penny stocks. So now let's look at the orders. So we're going to orders tab. We'll go into my filled because, or we can do all. Um, so we'll take a look at this. We'll go all the way down to the bottom here. So one second, let's get all the way down there. So there's not going to be too many trades on here again because I just opened it. So you can see down here in the right that these trades we made um, were just from the other day. So this is the, the date right here. So on the 11th, or sorry, this yeah, on the 7th of the month. So just from about seven days ago, about one week, this is when we first started trading on Webull. So my first purchase was of the stock CNDT. As you can see here, I purchased at 1240, or no, right here. I purchased 75 shares. Okay, and those 75 shares were purchased at a price of 1258. We then later sold those shares at 1306 and 1387. So I got in around 1258, sold at 1306 and 1387. Uh, we had a buy on the stock RSLS, a quick a quick scalp trade really. I uh, bought 150 shares at a price of 250. Um, you know, and then we bought some more at a price of 259. And then we ended up selling those shares at 263. So a small gain on RSLS. We bought 20 shares 
on TVIX at $45.51. We then sold those shares on TVIX. Um, where is it at? Right here, sold those 20 shares at a price of $47.04, so almost a $2 gain there. And then also we had these other trades in here, AMRN, bought eight shares of AMRN at $16 and then later sold those eight shares of AMRN at a price of $17.91, so almost a $2 gain there. Uh, and then right now, again, currently in five shares on Apple. So I know going through all of that may not have been the <laughs> most fun thing to do, right? Going through all those random orders there, it's not the best thing to do. And that's what I was talking about with Robinhood. It's kind of nice just being able to see the daily gain and this gain. So it's kind of a, like a, you know, a give and take where I, I like the interactive part of you know, Weeble, but I don't necessarily like that it doesn't give you that very simplistic breakdown um, of different stocks. Uh, so that's kind of the one thing that I don't like about it particularly. So with Weeble, that's kind of the, the iffy part here. So having to do these recaps for you guys might be a little bit of a challenge because we'd have to really go through all those orders. So maybe after time, you guys will kind of get the point. Uh, so now what I want to do is I want to show you guys so again, we started this account with $1,000 about a week ago. We're up to 1,228 in it right now. Only stocks I've traded are CNDT, a little penny stock, TVIX, and Apple for the most part. So just a couple stocks we've traded, been able to make um, a pretty good gain so far. Uh, now what I wanna do is kind of show you some of these trades. Okay, so for the first one I took, which was on CNDT, um, the reason I bought the stock, I actually think I swing, yeah, I swing traded it for a couple days. So ideally what happened here with CNDT is, as you can see, it had this really big sell-off, okay? So CNDT had this really big sell-off and I was like, okay, I kind of like that. I like the big sell-off. So what did I end up doing? I ended up buying CNDT uh, down here in the low price around 12.58 and then sold the next day on the spike, and then I think I sold some later, okay? So there was really two trades for me on CNDT. You know, I had a, a buy and two sells, so I think I bought some here on this day, on this big day where it dropped, anticipating it bounced a little bit. I was able to sell some the next day, um, and I think I even sold some right here on this day after we kind of couldn't break through this previous high. So that's one of the trades I made on with that small account was just, you know, a dip buy on an oversold stock off of earnings, all right? Now, next one here is uh, TVIX, I guess we could talk about. So I traded TVIX. Um, TVIX was the stock that I traded for the past couple days um, on that small account. Let me delete some of these drawings off of here for you guys. So it, first things first is if we look at the market, um, you know, this is the stock market that we're going to show you here. You can kind of see we had this good sell-off here throughout this past week. So I noticed that the market was selling off. I anticipated that the market was going to sell off. So what I did is I traded an inverse volatility ETF, which is TVIX, and I bought it uh, a couple of days ago. I think I swing traded it overnight. I like, yep. So then I, so what I ended up doing was I believe I bought it here on this day on this low drop. And then I sold the next day as it increased or wait, no, that's false because that would have been today. So no, that didn't happen. This was yesterday or the day before. Um, I ended up buying TVIX uh, right here on this dip. And then I sold later in the day somewhere in these highs as it was running up. So just another simple overnight kind of swing trade playing the odds of the market was was that what I was doing there. Uh, and then really the last one we could talk about here is the one I'm currently in is Apple, AAPL. Um, so what I did is I bought some shares yesterday on Apple after Apple had broken down on the day, started buying some shares down here, still holding them through this gain on the day here. Um, so why did I buy Apple? Apple was pretty simple for me. If you look at their yearly chart, you'd see that Apple has been beaten down over the past couple uh, couple weeks here. So 
you can see they sold off very hard right into some old previous support levels. So I figured buying Apple down here is a pretty, pretty safe thing to do after this big drop. We're into a really good structured support system. So I know some other people will probably be buying here. And again, I only bought five shares, but I'm up $3 per share um, on that trade. So that's really nice. Uh, so I bought five shares, you know, if it goes up 10 bucks, I mean, you do the math, I'll make, you know, 50 bucks. So I'm not looking for massive, massive winners, but just again, these small little trades can really add up. And when you're using a zero free commission broker, it's really nice because the commission doesn't eat away at your profit. Uh, so anyways, wanted to come on here and talk to you guys a little bit and kind of show you that I am doing a small account challenge so you guys can follow with it. You'll definitely learn a few things as we kind of go through all these different recap videos. So you'll probably pick up a few little lessons and tips here along the way while also kind of getting my you know, outlook on how I'm going about growing a small account. So hope you guys like the video and definitely stay tuned for some future videos to come on this topic. I don't know how often I'll have a video out for this um, because this obviously isn't my main trading account. So we'll probably do a couple videos a week or maybe we'll do one recap video at the end of the week to show the growth on the account or hopefully not, but the loss on the account. Um, we'll show you how that's kind of developing throughout maybe the week. So definitely stay tuned for some more videos to come. And everybody, do give a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe before you head out of the door. Take care.